like, f <laughs> holy f Right, so let's talk about everything, everywhere, all at once. How long do you got? This was directed by the team of Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, who also brought you Swiss Army Man back in the day. Another weird one. And it stars Michelle Yeoh and Ki Huey Kwan. Does that name sound familiar to you old school film fans? Short Round from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, right? To most of you, he will be Short Round, but to me, he will be Data forever. I haven't seen this guy in a movie in years, but my hype for this movie wasn't just surrounding him he was a big part of it i've heard all the buzz surrounding this film a lot of my fellow creators on this very medium have touted this as the top movie of the year so uh let's go ahead and dig right into it when an interdimensional rupture unravels reality an unlikely hero must channel her newfound powers to fight bizarre and bewildering dangers from the multiverse as the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Right, so the main character of this film is Michelle Yeoh, who basically, let me just say, this is probably the best performance of her entire career. She is so good that the Academy will just not recognize her at all, and they'll just completely snub her because this is an April-wide release, and she should really be recognized. She was magnificent in this feature. She's basically playing a woman who runs a laundromat, which she runs with her husband, who's divorcing her, played by Ki Huey Kwan, who is also just so great in this film. It was so good to see him as a grown-up in yet another feature-length film that I absolutely loved. I could see a lot of data in here in some of his outbursts, that's for sure. But Michelle Yu is basically your main character, and she's playing a woman who's being audited by the IRS, mainly by Jamie Lee Curtis, who I completely forgot to mention in the intro. She was really, really fun in this movie as well. All these actors are absolutely on top of their game. This is stacked from top to bottom. Stephanie Hsu, who plays the daughter, is a revelation in this feature. Her and Michelle Yeoh, you can definitely tell that they are mother and daughter. That's pretty much the central relationship of this movie if I really had to think about it which is which is really weird me saying that because it, like one of the big plot points is Ki Huey Kwan's character divorcing the main character here but that doesn't really feel like the central focus to me matter of fact I don't really even know what the central focus even was this is like oh my god where do I even begin the movie's title really is not a lie to anybody it is really throwing everything everywhere all at once to all of you the parallel realities that we get to see are really really fascinating and it really allows these actors to explore their range for sure and it's really one of the most inventive movies I've ever seen this is one of the few cinematic experiences that I can legitimately call you I really didn't exactly know what I was watching half of the time, but yet I couldn't help but be enraptured in what was going on. I was fascinated to learn more about how the multiverse actually exists within the world of this script, and the explanation for it is so damn clever, it almost comes off like a satire, which I get the complaint that a lot of people are like, oh, they're just doing what the MCU is doing, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange's sequel. <laughs> Listen, the Russo brothers are attached as producers, so I think they're allowed to make fun of themselves a little bit. And just the direction that this movie takes, Daniels, as this team is known, is absolutely fantastic behind the camera. They brought to you a weird film in Swiss Army Man back in 2016, and they managed to top themselves here. This is completely bizarre and mental. The movie looks great. There's so many colors popping on the big screen here. The action sequences and the murders in this film are some of the most inventive I think I've seen in any action-adventure sci-fi style flick like this. There's some very questionable toys that are thrown into the mix here, which can really rub people the wrong way. And if this is not the film for you, I totally get it, but I can sit here and say that I, <laughs> I I'm still in awe of everything everywhere all at once i think this is one of the top movies to beat for 2022 it's definitely going to be right up there with the batman it's going to be competing for my personal favorite movie of the year so far 
I'm just, I'm fascinated by this thing. I don't exactly know what I just watched in the best way possible. I want to go and watch it again and really take it all in. Because, like I said, this movie is throwing so much at you. And it really comes off as a labor of fun and love for the craft. And I have to sit here and applaud every single person who was involved with this project. Michelle Yeoh gives the best performance of her entire career. It was so great to see a grown-up data on the big screen once again. It just, it warms my heart. If I were to nitpick one teeny tiny little thing, and I'm not going to downgrade the film for this by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel like the very beginning of this film, the first 10 to 15 minutes or so, it really, it took me a minute to really grasp myself to this story. But once the multiverse is introduced, once that whole idea is put forth on the table by Ki Huey Kwan's character here... I was fully in it, and I could not take my eyes off the screen. I was fully invested in this film. I cannot recommend you guys check this movie out enough. It should be hitting more theaters this weekend for sure. Don't miss this one. Everything Everywhere All at Once is one of the best films of the year up to this point, and it absolutely deserves this high grade of an A+. <laughs> That 97% on Rotten Tomatoes is no joke, my friends. It is absolutely worth your time. It may be a little bit on the longer side. It runs 2 hours and 10 minutes, but it flew by for me. I think you guys are absolutely going to love this film, especially if you're really invested in what the MCU is doing with the multiverse. I think you're going to find yourself laughing at a lot of the things that are going on here. But guys... Let me know what you thought of this film down in the comments section below. This is a movie that definitely needs to be discussed more and more. I think this is a movie that's going to be examined for years to come. Obviously, I am so excited to be making videos just like this for all of you excited cinephiles like myself. And if this is your first time visiting the channel today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell right next to it. That way, you all can be the first ones in the know whenever there's a new upload over here. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, smash that like button as well this is also incredibly helpful in getting this content out there and this has been a busy weekend for movies i've already uploaded my review for sonic the hedgehog 2 stay tuned for my review of ambulance michael bay's latest attempt at making a big blockbuster lots of exciting things we get to talk about guys fantastic beasts the secrets of dumbledore comes out next week so stay tuned for that review y'all are the best seriously thank you all so so very much for checking out this video today really really does mean a ton Please go to the nearest theater possible to you and see everything everywhere all at once. Please go and support this film. Go and support A24 because they absolutely deserve this. And with all that being said, back talk, commence.